The following is an original production of HCC-TV, Howard Community College Television. Fahima Vadat is HCC's new Director of Visual Arts. We sat down for an intimate look at her life as an artist, teacher, and administrator. She remembers her first artistic moment as a young girl in Iran. When I was just a um, third grader, my mother gave me my uh, first sketchbook. And uh, what happened, I was so fascinated with this bare open book that uh, I only had a pencil and this sketchbook and I started drawing and I drew portraits of whatever that I was thinking. I was just making portraits of my mom, my, my dad, my sisters, my brothers, and so forth. At the age of 15, Vadat spent a year in India. It was during her time there that she began to draw inspiration from social issues and injustice, cementing her future as an artist. I was uh, so moved by the whole notion of how poverty uh, was all around me and how much I was affected by seeing people suffering and, and little girls and women uh, working so hard and just uh, noticing that they live on the streets, for example, and, and uh, they work so hard, but that's, that's their life, that's, that's what they have. And I was just suffering myself. I, they, they, I was feeling their pain. And that was a very crucial moment for me to, um, to try to find a way to, to uh, speak up about these sufferings. Following the Iranian Revolution of 1979, Vadat obtained a religious asylum visa and came to the U.S. to pursue a college education in the arts. During her undergraduate and graduate years, she continued to create multimedia pieces focused on social issues. Her most prized works are rooted in her personal history. One of the highlights of my career is the, when I received an NEA grant to do the body of work that I uh, was researching for several uh, years, more than f probably five or six years, I was focused on this um, work that I wanted to create a memorial f uh, and give a memorial service to the Baha'is who were, who were uh, martyred and who were uh, killed in Iran after 1979, and which I had two of my uh, relatives, my great uncle, who was 80 years old, the um, retired uh, army general, and my cousin, who was 32 years old, nurse, who served the southern part of Shiraz, which they were both executed. And I wanted to bring dignity and, and uh, a, a memorial service to these people who, for most part, did not have any, any service or their uh, bodies were, weren't found or ditched in large uh, graves. Vadat currently shows her works nationally and internationally. Her most recent collection focused on women's issues through protest art. A spirit of hope, beauty, and freedom permeates the work. My recent work was uh, shown at Red Line Milwaukee. It was a solo uh, installation, mixed media installation, that dealt with um, protest. It was called uh, Protest from Freedom Series, which I have been working on this body of work for years. and. Um, I have any Iranian artist who lives outside U.S., their work, whether they want it or not, um, becomes political. My work is still socially based, but, uh, but, it's, but it has political component to it, and an audience can read into that if they want to. Educational settings seem natural to Vedat. They provide an environment for open dialogue about the subject matter while passing on her skills and philosophy. Her career as an educator began at her alma mater of Southern Methodist University. We went to Taos, New Mexico for a semester uh, of, um, of studying and 
that's when my students, I was a TA, I was a graduate student, and um, the students that I was working with, they told me I'm a great teacher, I should continue teaching. And that, that was the moment that I realized that I belong to this place, to education, but also as an artist, but also as, uh, as an American, to be, to be able to call myself an Iranian-American uh, living here in this country. Having found her calling as an artist and educator, Vadat began to seek a permanent position in a collegiate setting. She had already spent time in California, Texas, and Wisconsin, so she hoped to find an opportunity on the East Coast. HCC proved to be a perfect fit. When I came actually to um, Howard Community College for interview, I was immediately taken by the setup, Horwitz Center, just so inviting. I just loved this open space, walking in. As the new director of visual arts, Vadat takes a practical approach to meeting students' academic needs. Since this is a two-year college, uh, my focus is to make sure our students learn traditional skills, but also are aware of contemporary modes and uh, aesthetics that is happening in the art world and in education so that they are ready to take the next step, which is for them to transfer. Majority of our students these days are transferring to four-year college. In class, she seeks to teach her students more than basic drawing and portraiture skills. She encourages students to find their own inspiration, perspective, and voice. Our role is to make sure our students uh, have those abilities and build those abilities to be able to move on with their careers as global citizens ra rather than just being so, um, so isolated in small community. So for those reasons, I, I like to lead um, and, and serve um, my community of students, faculty, administration, but also community th through uh, strong uh, academic curriculum. For more information on HCC's visual arts department, contact Fahima Vadat at fvadat at howardcc.edu. To see more of her work, visit fahimavadat.org.